Dead days. Go tight! Go hot! If we were to walk out tomorrow, there would not be a game. I think the integrity of the game is always the most important thing, so... Yeah, I can't stand that. Andrew Demetrio. He's getting a bit ahead of himself, I think. Stop changing the rules. Hopefully I've hummed around the answer. Oh, I don't like tanking. Bailey's looking like a genius. I'm here for lunch. The game's irrelevant. Bruce will love this. Bruce will love it. Now, have you got a pancake or not? Good evening and welcome to Footy Talk Back, the only footy show about the fans, for the fans. Who's the sun's out, we're at another Tigers game. What's up? Feathers, stunning fans. It is a very, very long road without any dustbins. Thus explains why Nathan Buckley has labelled the Richmond and Collingwood fans as feral. Maybe who's? Or maybe Bucks has just been watching old episodes of FTB. We are the Mad Boys! The Mighty Mad Boys! And we are Mad Dog! And we are Mad Dog! That's crazy, yeah. mate! I'm so good to see you passionate. <laughs> go Tigers! Come on, Tigers! Hey! Hey, go Tigers! You know what, Feathers? I don't reckon Bucks is the only footier who's been watching FTB. You know how we're always banging on about the rules down here at mm. FTB? Mm. They're too hard to umpire, they're too complicated. Who should come out this week and demand a new set of simplified rules? Who who's? None other than Bucks' best mate, Eddie Maguire. Good Lord, who's? Of course! It all makes sense! Bucks and Eddie watching FTB together, Bucks studying the fans, Eddie stealing our ideas. Mm. Who's? Did yeah. you see yesterday's back page of the Herald Sun? No. Well, look at this. Tax on hold. That's right, Who's. The AFL have scrapped plans to increase prices to blockbuster games. So? So? Don't you remember the intro to our first round of this year? My Godfeathers, you're right. <laughs> There is that threat of price increases for blockbusters. Whiz, the power of the fans. It is certainly all happening down here at the MCG. Born down in a grassroots town. The first game I saw was on a gravel ground. Yeah, heard about this thing called the AFL. Got a hundred thousand fans packed in one big shell now. Down at the MCG, I am down at the MCG, yeah. Tigers and Magpies fans as far as I can see, yeah. Just saw a guy, he didn't have no teeth, yeah. My daddy told me in his younger day, you can sit where you want, wasn't too much to pay now. One umpire was enough. And all the chicks like the game that rough now. Now the punk roll has come alive. Yellow and black is the war cry now. But the Magpie Army will not lay down. As Collywood echoes round the crown now. Down at the MCG I am. I can't afford to bring the family, so I'm a solo rockin' daddy at the MCG, yeah. We hate the Tigers, we hate them. Be honest, the Dynapies, we hate the Tigers. Dynapies! Against you, not loud enough. Are you feral? No. Nathan Buckley said you are. <laughs> Never say that. Nathan Buckley no. said that all the Collingwood and Richmond fans are feral. No. What do you reckon about that, mate? No. He's alright. Why would he say that? I don't know. Uh, no, you're tripping. <laughs> talking about the Tigers, I think. He was talking about the Tigers, but he also said Collingwood fans are feral. No, no. that guy. He's eating a kebab. Are you feral? Sorry? Are you feral? I can be. You can be? When do you become your most feralist? Uh, uh, there's no actual time when you do it. Right. Just, it just, it's just one of those things that comes out every now and again. Are you feral, mate? Oh, mate, I'm terrible. You're I'm terrible? Probably, I'm the, probably the worst. Are you? Yeah. When, do you, when, are you at, when are you at your worst? Five minutes after a Richmond loss. Yeah, what happens? Uh, tend to break things. Such as? 
Uh, I've hit a light in my house, which busted my hand open. Yeah. Um, just walls. Just keep away from me. Cool. Put me in a padded cell for a week. Always feral, mate. You are? Tiger feral. Yeah. When are you at your most feralist? When we beat the pies. Then you really let it rip. Yeah, let it rip. Then what? pull out the mullet and I'll put the mullet on. Are you feral? No. Are you feral? No. No, Nathan feral. Buckley said all the Richmond supporters are feral. I'm a Hawthorne no. supporter, so we're a lot better. I'm well, a feral. Richmond supporter. <laughs> what are you? I'm a Richmond supporter. Why do you think Bucks would call you feral? Because Bucks is a rude little prick. Ah. Are you feral? Oh, I'm as... oh, I get pretty feral, yes, at the end of the day, yep. So, yeah, what happens? Uh, well, my daughter was just saying that I'm going to be the death of her because I'm going to drop dead sometime in the fourth quarter of a Richmond football game and she'll have to look after me. When are you at your most feralist? Oh, I reckon it would be probably at about 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be pretty feral by then. Give, us, give the fans back home an idea of what will be going on at about 6 o'clock tonight. Go Tigers! Feral. Go Tigers! <laughs> feral again. Feral Tigers! Let's go Tigers! Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Come on! Go! Yellow and black! How do you feel about him calling you feral? He can go get stuffed. Are you feral? Always. Do, yeah. do I look feral? Yeah, you do. Bloody oath, not as feral as Collingwood, though. Are you feral? I am feral. Yeah. No, I'm not feral. You are or you aren't? Oh, uh, Tiger Army. A bit. A bit? Yep. What about you, mate? Are you feral? Yeah, a bit. When you, when you no, get, he's not, he's not. When you get your most feralist? Oh, when my brother's been a little shit. Yeah. Yep. What do you do to him? Belt him. Are you feral? No. You're not? No. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> are you feral? No. Well, that's good. What about you? Are you feral? Nah, I'm right, thanks. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about Nathan Buckley calling the Richmond fans feral? Oh, you know, I'd have a good look at what his supporters are. Exactly. What are they? Feral. There you go, fans. <laughs> hey, mate, are you feral? Yep. You are? Tell us, what's the most feral thing you've ever done? Um, Tarrant Hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not within a five metre photo. Protected. Protected zone. Abusing the umpire. I was out of control. Give me my ball back. They call it the grand final, blokes. That's crunch time. That's season to fight. When my dad did his knee back in the late 60s, they had a very simple operation for it. They took out all his ligaments, all his cartilages, and all hope of playing football for the rest of his life. I mean, he can get around a golf course, but he certainly isn't jogging it. Now, though, bloke does his knees back on the paddock in 12 weeks or so. It's unreal. Call that performance enhancing? <laughs> you do the maths. And what about hyperbaric chambers, ice bars? I mean, these blokes don't even drink as much as they used to. You want to know about performance enhancing, you just have a look around the game. So what I want to know is what's wrong with squirting a bit of stuff up? We want to see blokes running the length of the ground, taking some bounces, putting it through for a goal. We want to see tackles that make you wince and see blokes so hard they'll just bounce up and keep on going. Of course we've got to give them something. And I say let them have it. Let's see the game as it could be played in the best possible circumstance. Come on, Danks, sign up. Come on. Against you, talking too much. No one else is talking, give him a chance to say something. Does she talk all the time? Yeah. Oh. Boo! Yes! Fans, here we are for round one of Strike, proudly presented by Strike Bowling, and I'm very, very happy to have two fantastic Richmond supporters on my hands, Reese and Steve. They're excited. Steve, how are you feeling? Oh, feeling good. Feeling yes. good. I can tell. Reese, are we going to win? We are definitely going to win today. We're going to yep. give the Collingwood a big payback. I hope so. I actually think we're in with a shot today. But guys, test your buzzers for me now. Reese. Ball. Great. Bing. Bing. We're going to go with Bing today. To go, Bing. Steve's improvised. That's great. Okay, guys, here is your question. Out of Collingwood and Richmond, which team has the most feral fans? Ball. Reese. Collingwood. Correct. Yes. Reese. Where, where were you, Steve? You think you stand up your team. Striking you out. But he is a strike ball and voucher for playing. Uh, Reese, how are you feeling, my friend? Oh, you're pretty uh, happy with the result. I can tell how excited you are. You're not going to be able to sleep tonight. You're so excited. Oh, I know. <laughs> too much. Too much. Fans, we'll be back after the break when we'll play round two of Strike. We are watching Footy Talkback. Go Collingwood. Try Richmond. <laughs>
Ice cream. Strawberries. Lovely. The Pancake Parlor. Breakfast till 5 p.m. weekend. We're watching Footy Talk Back. Go to the Tigers! Fans, welcome back to Footy Talk Back and don't forget to check out the FTV website and Facebook page. Word from, how goes it? Feathers. Fans, it goes very well, thanks, Feathers, although I'm not sure that the AFL players will be saying the same thing. As Dane Swan has been pointing out, they live a very hard life indeed. Indeed they do, William. Mm. Hey, remember that time we asked Dermy about his life challenges? <laughs> yeah. You've got to give it a real nudge, yeah. What's the best cure? For hangover, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream? Ice cream, yeah. Loads of it? Uh, enough and then get in the surf. Well... Oh, it doesn't get much harder than that, does it? Surf and ice cream. Add on top of that, you know, living out your lifelong dream, oh, earning oh. huge six and seven even figure salaries, uh, eight weeks holidays a year. It's no wonder that Dane Swan can understand why AFL players could get depression. Oh, poor Swanee. Yeah. He's doing it tough, isn't he? What with, with all the social media tours and he's got journalists like, like Caroline Wilson calling for him to be sacked. Actually, if he listens to anything Wilson said, he's definitely well, got depression. Hang, hang on, hang on. Is Caroline Wilson a journalist? Apparently. Oh. oh, well then, excellent, thank you. Let the, uh, let the, let the ill, let the incapacitated, let the injured even thank the sweet Lord that they do not have to run the risk of depression that clearly comes hand in hand, Feathers, with playing elite level AFL. Very well said, William. How's it going? Very well, thanks. Great. <laughs> Look, uh, Dane Swan was recently in the press saying that <laughs> AFL players have got a hard time of it. Do you reckon he's been a sook? <laughs> no, yeah. Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Yeah, do you reckon yes. AFL players have got a hard time of it? Um, I think they've probably got a bit of a hard time. Right. Because um, the public's always looking at them. Yep. And um, because they're always looking at them, they've got to be on their best behaviour. Right. 24-7. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's a hard time for you? Oh, that's a hard time doing the wrong thing and being noticed. Do you reckon he's been a sook? Oh, no, they, they do a hard job. It's, I wouldn't um, wish that sort of scrutiny on anyone. Right, OK. Yeah. So what, do you, what, what would you describe as a hard life then? Oh, mate, if you, if you can't go down the street without being in the public eye, yeah. you know, you, you've got no privacy. I wouldn't do it. No. Then yeah. again, no one would want me to do it. <laughs> but do you reckon he's been a sook? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Do you reckon the AFL players have got a hard time of it? Oh, no, nah, not really. I reckon they get it pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you describe as a hard life, man? Oh, some decent hard laboured work, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, doing it hard. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. No, not really, no. Nah. Look, they, they, make, they make their own decisions and... Um, Look, it's up to the individual player, I reckon. If they're mm. going to make a bad name for himself, well, so be it. Do you reckon Dane Swan's a sook? No. What would you describe as a hard life? Oh, putting up with a missus, I suppose. Right, yeah. Well, let's just get another opinion on this. <laughs> Do you reckon Dane Swan's a sook? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you reckon he's been a sook? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably. Do you, do you reckon AFL players have got a hard time of it? I think they make it harder as, hard as on themselves. Right. More than anything. Through choice, you reckon? Yeah. No, he's not a sook, no way. Not Dane Swan. Right, okay. What do you? Uh, what would you describe as a hard life, then? Hard life? Probably living on the streets. Right. Yeah. 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 So not an AFL player, then? No, not an no. AFL player. They got a good. Right, Doing what they love. Doing what they love. Do you reckon he's a sook? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Right. Just keeps on walking. Do you reckon he's been a sook? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Great. Uh, what would you describe as a hard life, then? Oh, a hard life? Uh, I reckon a hard life was us about two years ago, but we're doing all right now. Do you reckon he's been a sook? Nah. Nah? Right, OK. What, do you think I... AFL players have got a hard time of it? Yeah. Right. OK. Why is that? Oh, I think I reckon the short lifespan in your career. You're not getting paid enough. Right. They put their heart and soul on the line for their supporters and clubs. Not getting paid enough, you reckon? No. Right. You're pretty happy if I was pulling their wage. What would you say? <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely would be too. <laughs> what do you reckon uh, What do you reckon is a hard life then? A hard life? Mine. 
Right, yours? Yeah. Okay, what? Well, 58, still working with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon he's been a soup? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? He's got it pretty easy. Yeah. Everyone else has to work hard for money. Right, yeah, that's yeah, it. And he's it? just yeah, lapping he's a it up. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what, what do you reckon? What is a hard life then? Um, what all of us people watching are doing. <laughs> Having to pay to come here, not getting paid to come here. <laughs> Against you. That's cheating. You can't read the record before you go in the game. It's cheating. Time for On The Run fans. Let's find out what the fans think of Nathan Buckley. Feral or fancy? Nathan Buckley, feral or fancy? Feral. Feral. Fancy. Feral. Fancy. Feral. Feral. Yeah. feral. Juice. Mate, he's pretty fancy. Feral. Fancy. Feral. Uh, feral. Oh, uh, not a bad bloke. Good coach, I guess. Feral or fancy? Feral. Thank you. Ah, uh, Feral. Feral. <laughs> Absolute champion. Feral. Feral. <laughs> Fancy. Feral! Against you. You're not on your man. Get on your man. I reckon which win supporters are, are not, not too bad, but uh, when they play Collingwood, they sometimes lose. So um, that's why I think um, Coinwood's yep, going to win by that's 20 nice. goals nice. because Coinwood is more powerful than the Tigers. Hey, hey, hey. Ball! Yes! <laughs> but now we're here to play Strike Girls. Test your buzzers. Or was it again? Ball! Yes! Oh, Chris is on the ball. Come on. You better. Chris is going to beat you. Okay, ladies. Here we go. Here is your Collingwood question. Whose fault? was the Harry O'Brien report. Was it A, Harry's fault? B, Hodgie's fault? Yay. No, neither. Well, I'm still going C, the umpire's fault or D, Kevin Bartlett's fault? C, umpire. Wrong. Chris, have another go. Neither. No, was, have another go. Was he, <laughs> the match, match, A. Match no. <laughs> yes, Kevin Bartlett's fault. Chris, yes, you're right. <laughs> Just trying to, oh, Tabby, I'm sorry. You tried, you had a good go, but Chris, <laughs> Got it right, you were passionate from the very start. How do you feel? Good. Good? Yay! Excellent. Great news. Chris, you are going to be taking on Reese in the grand final strike. He's a Richmond supporter. So Bring on, Reese. So prepare yourself. She's ready to go. Thanks for playing, ladies. Fans, we'll be back after the break. You're watching Footy Talk, but calm the pies. Breakfast till 5 p.m. weekends. You're watching Footy Talk Back. Go Pies. Fans, welcome back to Footy Talk Back, and don't forget to jump on the FTB Facebook page for your chance to win a hundred dollars worth of pancakes to the Pancake Parlor. Now, Petey, I've noticed that the "It's Your Call" segment with Geishan and Schwoss has been ditched from the AFL website this year. Why's that? Well, Feathers, I think it might have something to do with the fact that uh, Geish copped so much abuse on Facebook last year. But I do have another theory. It's your fault, Feathers, for taking the mickey last year. Ball! Ball came out. Play on, play on. Get rid of it! Play on! Why are you even look at anything, you poor on? Well, it's clearly a throw. Anywho, Petey, I think they should bring back that segment. I mean, even as a very loyal Tigers fan, I've got to say, I felt for Bob Murphy last week. That protected zone is really pissing me off. <laughs> Pissing you off? Yeah. How do you think us umpires feel having to make a 50 metre penalty, game defining, through a man who's clearly trying to just pick up his man, then to get abused by the fans? I mean, these over judicial Kevin Bartlett stain, impossible to umpire rules, are <laughs> really getting me down, Mathers. Oh, Petey, I'm so sorry. I never realised what you arms really have to deal with. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Yeah, look, take a tissue. Come on. You're all right. Here we go. I've got one in here, somewhere. There you go, oh, come on, you're all right, you're okay. <laughs> all right. That's okay. better. Okay, good. Against you, 50 metres, protected zone, come on. 
do you know anything about the projected zone rule? Because no one seems to know. Uh, no, not really. No. Do you have you heard of it? No. No. What is it? Well, basically, no one's allowed within five metres of a player who's got the ball and taken a mark and about to kick it. If you run past them within less than five five metres or less, free kick. There's actually a 50 metre penalty. All oh, right. Yeah. No, I did say that last week. They he did. Away he threw couple. his hands up in the air yeah. and he's got a 50 metre penalty. Yeah. Do you think that's a bit harsh? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Especially if it's a game-defining decision where they kick a goal. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. What did he say? Um, that it's silly. Weren't listening, were you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know anything about the projected zone rule? No. You don't? No. Don't like it. So you, I don't like you do it. know about it? No. You don't? No. But you don't like it? No, that's right. So you don't know... Protection. Don't... No one needs protection. Well, you do need protection in certain circumstances. Do you? Yeah. I don't. Any idea? No. no. I drive a forklift. I know it's a five metre rule. Stay away from that. Is it? So, if, what, if, if I was within five metres of your forklift, I'd get a 50 metre penalty? Yes. I would? Definitely. Do you think that's fair? Yes. Safety. Safety, safety, first. safety first. It's all about protecting the player, or in this case, the forklift driver. Exactly. Yeah, I understand it. Do you think it's fair? Um, nah, it's too quick. It's too quick to re for them to react. Like, how are they supposed to react in time? Like... So, if you're standing there and you've taken a mark, and my man runs around here and I follow him, I get a 50 metre penalty. Not if you're within. If you're not within five metres of him. So if I run around and I'm here, yeah. free kick against me, 50 metres. Yeah. If if he's your opponent, if he's your opponent though, and you're still within, I think it's two metres of him, then it's not. It shouldn't be a free kick. You don't know what the rule is? You didn't see the uh, decision last week, no? No. You know what I'm talking about? No. Protected. Is that when they dive? No, no, no. A protected zone is uh, it's too hard to explain. You're supposed to be five metre radius. You're not allowed to go when your person's got the ball about to kick it. <laughs> you know that rule? It's a you joke. don't know it. It's bullshit. <laughs> 50 metre penalty you get for it. Oh, well, we don't want that, do oh, we? Oh, no, that's silly. Yeah, too harsh? You're too harsh. Yeah, that's too harsh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? That's a lot of shit. A lot of shit? If you ask me. By the way, thank you. The uh, paramedics trying to get through. Boring. Am I going okay, Hoos? Yeah. Thanks. Do you need a script for this? Thanks. Here's your whistle, Pete. Oh, thanks. You got a song about thanks, Pato? No. As if. Against you. You can't have that aerial up, it's dangerous. That aerial there, it's dangerous. Might poke somebody in the eye. Ball! Excellent. Yes! Fans, we are back for the grand final of strike. And let me tell you, I have got two passionate fans here on my hands. Reese and Chris. How are you feeling, Chris? You were happy with your first win? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling really good too, again. <laughs> Excellent. Reese, come on, you're feeling confident. Very confident. I've just got a 30 year vendetta to sort out here and I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm well, on your side, pal. Come on, let's make this happen. Guys, test your buzzers. Ball. Yeah. Yay. Oh, they're ready to go. No wasting time. Okay, <laughs> guys, here is your grand final question. How many points will Richmond win by today? 42. Oh. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Yay. That was a good guess, but I'll give you another go, Reese. Just right, about right, 81 right. points. 81 is correct. <laughs> Reese, my friend, how do you feel? I'm uh, pretty happy with the result. You it's always it. nice to beat a Collingwood person. Yes, it it's is. It's been a long time, though. Let's hope that reflects today's result. That is no mess Look, they're competitive. That's how the whole day is going to run out. Thanks for playing, guys. It's been great. And against you, not waving your flag before the game. You should be waving your flag. He should have his sign down. What's mum eating? An apple. Yeah, free kick. Free kick to Mum for eating an apple. Well done, Mum. So, boys, apart from the protected zone, are there any other rules that make umpires' lives impossible and that have changed the game forever? Hands in the back. Sliding. 
Fluoro tops impossible to iron. Mm, and you'd know, Petey. Anywho, last week's fan of the week question was. What would it be like? Barracking for Melbourne. Matt Haverfield said that barracking for Melbourne would be like going to sleep with Caroline Wilson, then waking up in the morning and having to read her column. Oh. <laughs> God, Matt, correct. That would be extremely heinous. And for that, you have won this week's Fan of the Week and a $100 voucher to the Pancake Parlour. And fans, for your chance to win the pancakes, jump on board the FTB Facebook page and answer this week's question, which is, what do you like most about... Being down at the MCG. Down at the MCG. Good. I love the police escort at the end of the game, yeah. I just love the fans, the atmosphere. Oh, I hate it. You see that the D's are always down in the cheese. Suck it up, Will. Oh, Pato, take it away, and fans, keep talking. One, two.